This video explains how to fix your printer when you have a carriage jam error message on your computer. Turn the printer off and then on again. This will sometimes fix the issue. Press the power button to turn the printer off. If the printer does not turn off, it may have a paper jam, which we'll talk about shortly. If it turns off, wait 30 seconds, and then press the power button to turn the printer back on. This resets the print mechanism. Wait for the printer to turn on and stop making noise. Once the printer is back on, try printing a self-test page to see if you receive the message on your computer again. Press and hold the power button. Lower and raise the cartridge access door four times while holding the power button. Release the power button. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. Remove the paper from the input tray. Press the power button to turn the printer off. Go to the back of the printer. Unplug the power cord from the back of the printer. Remove the printer's rear access door. Check the printer for jammed paper. If you see the paper in the printer, remove the paper by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. If the paper tears while removing it from the rollers, check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Reinsert the printer's rear access door. Plug the power cord back into the printer. Go to the front of the printer. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Open the front access door of the printer. The carriage might try to move into the access area. Go to the back of the printer. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Go to the front of the printer. Check for obstructions under and around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Make sure that the carriage can move freely by gently pushing it to the left and then to the right. This helps find any obstructions that might block the movement of the carriage. Gently remove any paper you see. Make sure you get all the small pieces that may tear off. If the paper tears while removing it from the rollers, check the rollers and wheels for any remaining paper pieces. If all the pieces of paper are not removed from the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Use a flashlight to make sure you have removed all the small pieces of paper from inside the printer. When you've removed the paper, close the cartridge access door. Go to the back of the printer. Plug the power cord back into the printer. Go to the front of the printer. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Try to print a self-test page again. Press and hold the power button. Lower and raise the cartridge access door four times while holding the power button. Release the power button. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. There are times when improperly installing the cartridges can cause a carriage jam. In this step, we will fix this. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Open the cartridge access door on the printer to expose the cartridges. The carriage might try to move into the access area. If so, allow it to move into that position. Gently press the cartridges down one at a time. The cartridge releases so you can remove it. Be careful not to touch the copper-colored electrical contacts or ink nozzles. This can cause clogs, ink failures, and poor electrical connections. Reinstall the cartridges by gently but firmly 
pushing them into their slots. Close the cartridge access door. Try to print a self-test page again. Press and hold the power button. Lower and raise the cartridge access door four times while holding the power button. Release the power button. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. If the error message still displays on the computer, it might not be the printer. The power supply might be the issue. To check the power, first go to the back of the printer. Disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the power cord from the power strip or surge protector it's plugged into. Plug the power cord into a wall outlet. And then, plug it back into the printer. Go to the front of the printer. Try to print a self-test page again. Press and hold the power button. Lower and raise the cartridge access door four times while holding the power button. Release the power button. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes, the problem can be fixed just by doing a printer reset. First, press the power button to turn on the printer. Without turning the printer off, go to the back of the printer and disconnect the power cord. Wait 30 seconds and plug the power cord back into the printer. If the printer does not turn on automatically, turn back to the front of the printer and then press the power button to turn the printer on. Try to print a self-test page again. Press and hold the power button. Lower and raise the cartridge access door four times while holding the power button. Release the power button. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned the printer and what country you live in.